ride around in your car I put my weed in your blunt I am the sky to your star I am the end of your month You are the start of my day You brought the smile from my face I see the world from your eyes You pull the door from my side I know you love me It's rare, I know you love me Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of cold in here, bruh. That's tough. Like, God damn, boy, I feel like Birdman rubbing my hands together. No cap. But, uh, yeah, this is just behind the scenes look. Or, not a behind the scenes look, but this is just behind the scenes commentary. Like, what, what's the process of me making these videos? What's the behind the story? Because I know there's stories to all of my videos. Um, the editing, what I had to go through for some of the edits. These are just a few. I'm going to make this a continuous series. Like, this is going to be non-stop. For almost all of my videos or all the ones that have a significant meaning to me. Those are the ones that are going to be in this series. But uh, let's start it out with this banger. This is by far my favorite video that I've edited. Like, as far as the intro-wise, I put so much time into this. I planned it out before I even, before I even start editing. I already knew what I wanted to do. Like, bruh, it's crazy. You're about to experience a nigga moment. Webster defines the nigga moment as a moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical Negro male. Nigga moments are unpredictable. Bro, I kid you not. Before, like, I was watching a whole bunch of boondocks leading up to this whole recording. I think, like, this whole week or whatever. I was watching a bunch of boondocks, bro. I don't know why. It's just randomly, I was just watching boondocks nonstop. And that episode showed up and as we were playing the game bro i just instantly thought about that episode i'm like yo this is gonna be fire and if i could put this together bro i'm so proud of myself if they had their own category nigga moments would be the third leading killer of black men behind pork chops and fema it's a fact I am the son of a grown man feeling nigga. Visual, the inspiration that made ladies you trash, bro. I'm sorry. Idea bright, the same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. Yeah, I can't I move. The That's the problem. <laughs> in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun. Promise of what's to come, and I'm a remaining soldier. Yo, for one, I need to give a shout out to everybody in this video, bro. Y'all literally the ones who made this video. I just hit record, no cap, because I think my audio is messed up. I didn't, no, I didn't have my headphones in. I, I don't even remember what happened. I think it's my headphones, or I didn't have two headphones at the time, or something, bro. Or I had my mic muted. I really just don't remember, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. At the end of the day, bro, I was over there dying, like literally in tears, crying, bro, because I knew it was gonna happen. You know, all right, now I'm starting to remember. I didn't have my mic muted, but I couldn't record my audio for some reason. I don't remember that specific reason, but I couldn't record my audio. I was literally dying and just hyping him up like, yo, he'll beat you right now, bro. Like I was I was so instigating it, dog, and it was so funny because I knew their two personalities were just going to clash and just create something funny, bro. Because because I, your ass. I, got on the, I got back on the game because I, I, I was so Things told that I learning. heard a grown man feeling, nigga. How old are you? Let me know. Nigga, you ass, you, nigga. but your ass, though. Answer the question. But why are you asking? Though, nigga, is 2K a game. social record? Like, nigga, do you take 2K to your life, nigga? I'm trying to figure it out. But, you but, but, but feeling the so, question nigga. is, what was you playing? What was you playing earlier? You're uh, <laughs> bro, literally, like, bro, it's so funny playing with David because he gonna rage every time, bro. <laughs> No matter what, he gonna rage. It's messed up, but it'd be funny sometimes. Sometimes we be trying to cool him down, but majority of the time, it'd be funny. And I was killing, bro. I was literally killing him, bro. Off the same move. And then he started trying. I'm like, ah, get that out of here, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This video right here that you're gonna watch is not nothing crazy behind it. It's just, this is the point where I got so confident with myself and my commentaries that I did a live com. This whole video was a live com and it was one of my first or not one of my first, but it was one of my best ones that I've ever done. And at this point, I just started like becoming a natural at it and getting more confident uh, and more comfortable with just speaking and just, I don't know, everything just felt so calm and collected. Like I was shocked myself that I was able to do it and I don't think I cut it up too much. I don't really remember. But I know I just have so much fun making this video and I was so proud of myself.
gameplays and things like that but i'm curious to see what you guys think about it because i'm i'm all right with it you know I'm still gonna get it oh there we go quick gyroscope oh there we go another one uh no what yo how did i miss all right yo we need to go get some kills man i'm not even playing the objective at least i could do is get some kills all right this is another video wait for one i just want to say black ops 3 bro i've i don't know i took it for granted because that was my most confident year like i felt amazing that entire year i played the game so much i just didn't create as much content as i would like like i made so much content during that game span but i feel like i could have done so much more bro like i could have been like honestly i feel like i could have been like one of the best content creators for that game because I, I was playing it so much and I had so much fun. I played competitive, I sniped, uh, trick shot a little bit. Like I was doing it all for that game. And that's probably the last Call of Duty that I grinded so much and had genuine fun besides Modern Warfare Remastered. And uh, that, that you can't, I don't know, that game a little bit slower pace and not too many people was messing with it like that. Yeah, and this next video is just like, this is one of the videos that will always hold a spot in my heart because it's my first video. Like I. I don't know, I was so focused when I made this video. I think it took me at least two, three days of constantly editing for this video. I know it's not great, but I was literally on a laptop that barely worked. I was new to editing. I was new to making uh, thumbnails, Photoshop. I didn't even have Photoshop at the time. I had a cheesy movie maker editor and I had a, like a basic photo editor. Like I wasn't really, I, don't, I didn't have that much knowledge that I had back then. And uh, I don't know, that's why I just hold so much to me, bro, because I grinded and I was so serious during this video. Like, it's kind of cringe in a way, but man, I was dedicated, bro. Like, I don't know. What's up, guys? This is ID Tech with my first YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of Advanced Warfare on the PS4. And we're playing on the map Horizon. Um, and also in this video, I'm going to give you guys some information on myself, my channel, and what to expect in the future on my channel. Uh, so obviously I'm a gamer. I play all games. I have an Xbox 360, PS3, and a PS4. Uh, those are my console games that I mostly play. Um, but I am a consistent PC gamer as well. Um, which means I'm willing to try out any game and give my honest opinion on them, regardless if they're on the PS3, PS4, uh, Xbox 360, or even the PC. Bro, I swear, Young Detect was dangerous, bro. I'm not even gonna cap. I feel like I could take over the world, bro. Like, look at me doing commentaries over there like I'm in a job interview, bro. Yeah, like back then, bro, I used to plan my videos. Not scripted or anything. I still did everything off the top of my head. And I got more comfortable with it. But I used to literally plan, like, okay, today I'm going to make a video discussing this. Or I want this a specific way. Like, I don't know. It was weird. It was kind of weird, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thankful for it, bro. I wish I would have grinded a lot more during this time. When I was like really getting up into it. Because now I don't have too much motivation. But it's there. It's getting there.